Architect Jürgen Kieslich has designed and renovated a number of apartments and homes. He custom fitted a villa on top of a French styled hotel for clients he knows much better than most. You've worked on many projects, but I understand that this one was particularly special for you. Yes, it was, because it was for the parents and uh, it was supposed to be a home for their twilight years. So, looking to make it very special and it also care of a lot of their needs. So, it's a much more European way of living. It allowed them a lot more freedom to being here as opposed to being somewhere else in a conventional suburb. Among the attractions of this city apartment is the amount of double volume height. The masterstroke from Jürgen and interior designer Etienne Hanekom was making this the library. This is every bibliophile's dream. How did the design come about? Well, we had an enormous amount of books that box we had to box load <laughs> of books that we had to work with and we had to display. So we decided to use this double volume space to try and display as many as possible books, but in a little bit more of a playful contemporary way. Yeah, I mean, you can see Etienne put them in these little boxes, so they weren't just shelves as you would normally see. And I think that displays them quite well, along with the materials too. Yeah, and we did have the basic dimensions of most of the books, so we had to kind of work mm -hmm. with that to make sure that once everything is built, all the boxes and the books work together and fits. How did you accommodate the French style of the building into this apartment? Well, we feel it's a little bit more French colonial style, so we introduced all the clumpy bricks, the oak herringbone floors, and then also the low-line wall panelling, which is a little bit more classic again. No, so in the clumpy bricks, they also relate to our Cape heritage, so the clumpy bricks of the Cape colonial Dutch architecture links it a bit to the French style too, so it keeps it local. A treat for Jürgen's parents, who love the creature worlds of fantasy and sci-fi novels, is the Arachna light fixture, made from a collection of old angle poise lamps. I feel like you've really created something here so sophisticated and timeless, don't you think? Very kind, I think I would agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we, we had quite a few antique furniture that we did take from the owner's previous house, but then we added a lot of more local contemporary furniture and then also a few international brands just to have that nice eclectic mix between old and new. Yeah, and another thing is the double volume. So if you have a look at the, the rimpies, these little leather rimpies that we literally wove in by hand ourselves because we couldn't find anybody else to do it, adds another delicate sort of softens the, the metal as a contrast so it mixes that sort of masculine and softer type feel. I get the feeling that your father's quite the collector. Oh, he is. And it's not just the books, but uh, if you look through that room there, you will see stamps galore from a particular German period. The Etienne had a lot of fun with that interior. Yeah, well, we, we also decided to make it quite dark and uh, moody. And then, uh, so it's also becoming a second room where, that's where they spend most of their time watching TV at night. So, yeah, we've used very light oaks and very dark navy blues and then added a stamp wallpaper inside the shelving and even the little ensuite bathroom was full of stamped wallpaper. And then we also added the big gold melt light fittings to create that extra bit of mood at night. Hmm. With the main building being a hotel, materials for the nine months renovation had to be brought in after hours and water cutters used instead of jackhammers to keep the peace and quiet. So Jay, this is the, the green room and um, this room was kind of inspired by the view of the Greenpoint Park over there, so we decided to go more with a nature theme over here. And that inspired me to use this wallpaper that's got all these trees and nature scenes in it. We also reused the old bed and furniture from the owner's previous house, but just re it in a more contemporary way. Yeah, and that also, I think with the existing archways that you see over here, these dormer windows, the curve in that we decided to highlight. So we put lights below, so at night time you see that reflected behind the curtain. And uh, we also repeated that curve in the bathroom. So you'll see the circular ceiling bulkhead, round lights and round flooring details that reinforce that. Yeah, we also have this light <clears throat> fitting above the bar that's kind of like a exploded flower. <laughs> <laughs> it is. The apartment's a rich combination of patterns, texture and wallpaper. How do you get that balance right? 
We well, didn't always get it right, did no. you? <laughs> no. No, well, we, what we were always no. inspired with what you see out the window. So this one is more nature orientated, where the room in the front is more a nautical theme because you look over to the waterfront and the stadium and the ocean. So mm. oh, that right. kind of inspired us the whole time for what elements we used, uh, wallpaper wise, texture wise, and color wise. Jürgen's interest in homes began with two years on self-build projects in underprivileged communities. He's done boarding houses and is fascinated with all kinds of accommodation. Wow, guys, I can't believe how big and spacious this place actually is. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons we love this space. When we saw it, uh, it allowed us to recreate their old home with the uh, family living area, their old dining room table, their dad's favorite card playing nook, <laughs> all in one family spaced home. <laughs> I love the different furniture pieces that you've used. Yes, in this room we played with quite a small palette of finishes and textures. So we've got the steel from the Gregor Jenkin table, we've got the dark timbers from Piercron here, and then we've got this very light kitchen from Valcaccini. Yeah, it took a bit of doing because it involved two styles, the one being a farmhouse freestanding cabinetry and the other one a glass clad box and they were at the beginning refused to mix the two styles so we eventually had to get the MD of Valcaccini from Italy to fly out here okay, and he then forced the designers to do this and now they apparently have it as part of their range. <laughs> so we, we, we did better of train setting, yeah. <laughs> I was just about to say train setters. <laughs> These chairs are certainly eye-catching. Well, these are originally porter's chairs, and um, so they almost create like a little bubble. And the idea with that was is a little reading nook. So we, everybody can still be in this space, but you can be semi-private reading your book in your little private cocoon. The greatest compliment was towards the end of construction, when a hotel guest wandered in thinking this was their suite, and they'd hit the jackpot. The bonus is the rooftop terrace. So on a warm day, the best place to be is out on the patio, but on a day like today where the cold front is rolling in, the best place is to be next to the fire. I completely agree. The rooftop garden does look very spectacular from here though. Well, I think the best spot outside is the pool. We did an eco pool, which basically takes plants to clean the water. So you don't need maintenance teams coming in and out. So that's one of the best. And it keeps a lot of green alive outside and makes the, the outdoor terrace feel quite lush. And what plants did you decide to use? Actually mainly succulents and indigenous plants. It was entering the drought, so we did a lot of succulents and things that could handle the wind. Hardy sort of bushy kept plants. Well, thank you so much for showing me around. I've been blown away and I'm sure your parents are the proudest and most grateful parents on the planet. <laughs> thank you. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Dad. I hope they love it as much as you do. <laughs> Cheers. The Kieslisch's investment in their son's talent has seen handsome returns. 